morning, everybody. It's Thursday already, and boy, we have a super show for you today. Uh, in a few minutes, we're going to check the forecast because you know it's going to get super hot this weekend, and we'll get to that. But it's time we talk about everybody's favorite uh, subject, and that happens to be food. So with us this morning is America's favorite food scientist, Dr. Taylor Wallace, the author of his new book, Sizzling Science. So good morning, Dr. Wallace. Nice to have you with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Doctor, you seem to love the chemistry that happens during cooking. So we can really assume that there's really science behind great tasting dishes. Absolutely. Cooking is chemistry. And every time you walk into the kitchen, you're basically walking into your own laboratory. Now, don't be intimidated. You don't need a PhD in chemistry to make great tasting dishes. I lay everything out in my new cookbook, Sizzling Science. All right, you have some dishes in front of you. Tell us what you've prepared for us today. Absolutely. I've got three of my favorite protein dishes because nothing says summer like protein. Mm -hmm. um, first, I have the chimichurri marinated strip fillets. And this is a recipe that I recreated uh, from a dish that I had in Argentina. Uh, and again, uh, really, really healthy for you. This is a lean steak. 60% uh, of beef on the market today is lean, and it pairs really well with that chimichurri sauce. You can get it at like a Trader Joe's. And also um, asparagus, really healthy vegetable on the side. For breakfast, I have a veggie frittata. And this is a really great way to get eggs into your diet. Mm -hmm. Protein in the morning helps keep you satiated throughout the day. And eggs are the number one source of choline, a B vitamin that is critical for brain health. Uh, they're the number one, it's the number one source in the diet. And finally, I have a bone health berry yogurt smoothie. Uh, and we all know that dairy products taste really great, but guess what? They're also super healthy for you. And that's because they have so many nutrients like calcium and vitamin D that really promote strong bones and bone health. And with over 50% of Americans over the age of 50 having either osteoporosis or low bone mass, we never can get enough dairy products into our diet. Yeah, and we, and we know that they are full of protein. And, and I'm uh, enjoying a diet right now that I want to say lean towards keto, but really is um, very full of protein. And I have to tell you, it's, I've lost about nine pounds. It's one of the easiest things that I've done. So it's nice to see that you're espousing that as well in your book. Right, there are many recipes like this that are keto friendly. Now with the keto diet, it's also important to kind of have your fruits and vegetables sure. and kind of mix things up. Mm -hmm. That way you get all your essential nutrients. But definitely uh, there are recipes in there. Uh, these are some really great options for you. Um, and yeah, go wild. Dr. Uh, Kent, you are the author, of course, of this new cookbook, Sizzling Science, which I think everybody will love. How can viewers get more information? Right. So the book, as well as literally hundreds of blogs uh, with food and nutrition tips, are available on my website, drtaylorwallace.com. All right. Thank you, doctor. So, much, so nice to see you this morning. You give us some really great information, and good luck with the book. All right.